trader at Ace Investment Strategist. Um, he's in D.C. today. How big a deal is this for us, for U.S. investors? Well, it is a big deal. I think it's the right step uh, toward the right direction, right? Where is their long-term goal of to have an open and inclusive capital market. So one step is to raise the so-called quota. So don't forget, they already done so back in April. They already raised it for institution of their maximum investment into China from 30 billion to 80 billion. Now they're talking about increasing another possibly nine to 10 times. So I think it's a right step. However, I still see a lot of hurdles and obstacles that they will have to go through in order to accomplish the right. goal. Well, here's the thing. China's going through this um, leadership change, and the new leader of China, Xi Jinping, uh, taking over. What's he like? I mean, is, is there some thinking now that maybe we have a reformer on our hands more than people thought, or, or is that uh, going too far? Yeah, well, I think that's going a little bit too far. The problem with him is that he, yes, uh, does want to reform. However, right now, his power is not secured yet. I think maybe in another observation or observers are saying maybe another about three to five years, he'll be able to have the total control of right. the poly, uh, poly bureau. And at that time, he could do a total financial and also political reform. Right now, he's trying to push uh, for it. However, in order to, like I said, in order to accomplish it, there's still a lot of problems, obstacles, and hurdles that they have to go through. What's your view in, in, in how we should approach this as um, you look at the GDP growth in the U.S. versus China, which brings up a larger point. The, the Chinese are the number two economy in the world. We're number one. At some point, China, I guess, passes. It's just such a huge country. It keeps uh, going up unless there's some sort of a collapse. What should we be rooting for? Should we be rooting, as strange as this may sound, for China to be number one? Is it in our best interest for China to continue on this path, or is there something else to it? Yeah, that's a fantastic question. Still, are they foe? Are they friends? We still can't figure that out. By the way, they can't figure that out either. But I think <laughs> basically it is for the common good for us to work together. So we don't want to see them collapse. That's definitely not good for the world. Well, for our economy, we do want them to be well. But don't forget, kind of also as a country, they do have the second largest GDP. But right. the wealth is not evenly distributed. Oh. If you look at their per capita GDP, they're actually ranked number 93rd in the world. So I'm telling you, that country still needs a lot of financial and economic reform in order for it to stabilize and to compete with us as a super economic power in the world. So yeah. they still have a long way to go. There's a lot of everything in China, including a lot of poverty, as you point out. Um, <laughs> well, maybe this is a sign that things are moving slowly in the right direction to the investment angle of it. Uh, Yudi Chang, thanks a lot, as always. Great. Thank you. Think your password is clever enough?